a bird? No, it's a plane. Nah. No, nah, man, it's Captain Kurt. Oh, wait till you see Captain Kurt. You're gonna be like, fuck. You too, what's good, man? Man, last night I was at Lidfoot City. It was great. Um, Breadwin DeVille, Hard Target, Florida Dolph, Simple Man, The Sticks, Dirty, Moccasin Creek. Uh, it, it was crazy, man. So, uh, yeah, it was dope, and I got some interviews, and I'm going to share those interviews with you. Before that, though, look, check this out. I got the, the hat, Hard Target, Dirty, Simple Man, Breadwin, Florida Dolph, Crown. Got the trailer made, vinyl for the car. Simple Man, Bless Me, with a signed album. Appreciate it, Simple Man. Shout out, Simple Man. When this video is over, make sure you check them out. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so now. I got a lot more content coming. Uh, got the koozie. Trailer trash. Trailer made. And the shot glass. Yeah, it was it was pretty dope. Today, I actually went and, uh, and got this. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Shout out to Trailer Made. I appreciate all the love. It was a great show. Um, I got some interviews, and here they go. Hey YouTube, you know where I'm at. I'm back here at Leadfoot. I got an uh, artist I never heard of before, a Dirty. A civil man put me on, say, hey man, you gotta check this man out, Trailer Made Records. Dirty, I, I seen the name, I, now that I think about it on Instagram, I think you were one of the first people that had posted on, that was signed to Trailer Made, I could be wrong. So I, I seen the name, I just didn't, everything goes so fast on the internet. But uh, hey, one question I got for you is, uh, uh, what artists are you most, like, would you relate to or you're influenced by? Do you feel like if somebody didn't know you and they know that artist, then they'd be fine? Oh, uh, man. All right, that's, that's a pretty loaded question. I would say, uh, like, my most influential artist or my favorite artist is probably, um, like, Twista, Tech Nine, Tom Petty, uh, DMX. There's a uh, yeah, Metallica. Yeah. It's, it's just a it's kind of a broad. I mean, yeah, that's crazy. That, that's how people can relate to music, though. It's not these mainstream artists that everybody knows yeah, yeah. that you've heard on the radio for years. Right. It's the music you had to, when you were younger, man. I had to dig. I'm 34. Yeah, yeah. I dig to find good right. music. Yeah. It wasn't just pop on the radio. That's everything I heard. Yeah, yeah. Related to. So that's what's up. Uh, how's the underground scene in Pennsylvania? Uh, it's good, man. There's there's a lot of there's so many subgenres now. It's it's like solid. Like you got like the juggler. Scene, and then there's a backpack scene, and there's like the country rap scene, and bro, there's so many stuff down. So there's there's literally no reason, like, if you make dope music and enjoy making music, there's no fucking reason why you can't go out and like, make something. There's enough people that are willing to come out. Nowadays, there's so many ways to get it. You yeah. have to spend so much money to shoot for you. Video, you can do it all off phone now. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. Sure, yeah. And uh, yeah, man, um, what song would you recommend to me if I'm going jumping in, never heard your music? Where am I going? Uh, it depends hey, on what you like. If you like, I like uh, feel mom, I, I oh, you like feel mom, all right. the Jeezy, the Boosie, the, the, all right. The, then, if you were doing old shit like that, I would say probably my song Harmless, which is an old song, right? But that, that that's that's in that kind of vein, like it, it pounds like that. But if you were, uh, nothing, I would say Harmless. My song Change with Hard Target or Rural Legends that I have with the Redneck Soldiers. And if none of those, um, How Dirtbags Roll. Sammy. Probably. That's a pretty good name. Right well, that's what's up, man. I'll, I'll be sure to check you out. I cool. appreciate the interview. Appreciate uh, the time. And, hey, make sure you guys go check out Dirty. I'm going to be doing it. Make sure you do it. Wait, wait till. Go check them out and then come back and check out my review. Don't spoil with my review. <laughs> go check them out first. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it, man. Hey, man. Thanks. Yep. Appreciate the time, bro. Yep, so, you too. We're out of Left Foot City, man. Uh, it's what, June 10th? Yep. Yeah, June 10th. We got a big concert out here. All the trailer made. We got uh, Moccasin. What's it? Moccasin Creek? Moccasin, Moccasin Creek. Creek. I seen West Nile out there, man. Uh, we got Jake Crowney. It's Crowney's birthday. Shout out, homie. Happy hey, birthday. Hey, I forgot it is Crowney. Yeah. Oh, shit. I better go say what's up, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, so, hey, yeah. So I, I got a couple questions for you, man. Okay, okay. Uh, I just want to know, like, I, it's, the style's dope, homie. Like I'm keeping all it, it's like that country ghetto. I like that. You know, you keeping you keeping your roots on both ends of it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So uh, has it changed over the years? Was it changed your whole life? Man? Nah, man, it's been like this my whole life, man. Just country and listening to rap. That's how it's always been. I told man. my son you cut them boots, man. I like that. Yeah, I cut all my boots. I cut all my hats, man. Yeah. yeah that's and what's now, it's just, I don't know. I've always been into being different, man. I got it tatted on my fingers. Fingers stay different, man. I've been like that my whole life, man. My mom and dad is always telling me that I was way different. Yeah, that's so shit. I took it to the fullest, folks. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, so uh, also, man, um, 
will we be getting the full album? Like I get it. Like I see the problems with albums. Uh huh. Yeah. Not like a like. Oh. Like what I'm saying is, is maybe pretty, maybe way down the road. Not right now. Yeah. No. No. I keep that. But what I mean is like put all the songs that you got on the summer, put them on an album and drop a new one or two on that album. That way, if people that want to listen steady on the streaming platform, they got something to go to. Because yeah, it's hard to listen to you and then jump over to some shotgun chain. Like, yeah. ah, fuck it. Well, I mean, hopefully, eventually, you know, I'll just have a shitload of moves out, uh, music out there for you. Yeah. You know, so I'm listening yeah. to. But, uh, nah, I ain't, in, I ain't trying to do no albums, man. Just one song with a video and just keep it running. They man, burn that's out. That's where you get the, new, the numbers out. Yeah, they burn out, man. This whole album. Yeah. Yeah, now, if you could re recommend one song for them to listen to, for anybody out there that don't know who Florida Dolph is, what is that song? See, it ain't even out yet, but I will be rapping it here tonight. The song's called Slow My Soul. It's got me and uh, my brother Jim Star. I don't know if you know who Jim Star is. You need to know who he is, man. Jim Star has been doing this with Hard Target for a long time, man. Like, what I'm doing, Jim Star was doing this years ago, man. That's my brother, man. So, definitely song uh slow my soul is that the one with the guitar started. you were yeah yeah bro just, that's fire the other night that's yeah, fire yeah, yeah. like when i heard that i'm like here we go yeah it's yeah. time like yeah. that's what's gonna like i've been saying these younger cats they need somebody like you for this this to be successful yeah. without these younger artists man i'm 34 years old i, I know you're younger than me yeah. and these kids don't understand real music man. so yeah. it's nice to see somebody out here with your energy man I appreciate the interview, guys. Yes, sir. Hey, I appreciate, I appreciate you showing up, man. Hey, Thank you, brother. If you guys weren't out here, man, you, you messed up because you ain't going to see this until after this is over. But next time there's a show around and you oh. see these headlines, Florida Dog, Hard Target, Superman, oh. The Sticks, like, go look up Trailer Mate. I, I don't know what you've been waiting on, but don't sleep on it. Hey, I heard Country Rap Report say Trailer Mate's winning, dog. Yeah, that's what's up. Hey, what's up, YouTube, man? You know where I'm at? I got Simple Man now. I'm going to ask him a couple questions. All right, so uh, listen, man. What's the most influential country rap artist not on Trailer Made? Like, it could be anybody. I would prefer it not to be a mainstream artist, which I don't think it'll be anyway, but who is it? Oh, man. Uh, for me, personally, like, uh, is that a mic? Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah, I yeah, need yeah, talking yeah. to that. Yeah, right. no, yeah, close to it. For me, personally, country rap artists that influence me would not even be someone that's in this lane that's considered country rap right now. Me, personally, my influences for country rap would be uh, Field Mob, um, uh, Bub when Bubba Sparks came out and was and was killing it, it would be people like that. Like right now, I would say people that's that's I would say Jelly Roll right now yeah, is uh, and he keeps coming up in country rap conversations, but he's kind of his own thing. Uh, Yellow Wolf's doing amazing stuff. Those guys up church and all those dudes that are out there really killing it. Um, right now, for me. Personally, the music that I like, I will say Broadnex is snapping, bro, and he's he's really he's destroying it. So if I'm looking at anybody, you you know, I don't want to just name names, but you know, for for me coming up, it was like Field Mob and some of them dudes was country rap back then. Right, right. That's what's up, cause Field Mob like dead in the Chevy. Uh, like I was saying, all that rooted to the two. Yeah, there ain't nothing like stuff, that, bro. man. Uh, what's the one they had? The one where they was broke. Talking about, uh, I'm going to have me a big, nice caddy. House on the hill <laughs> yeah. for my mom and my pappy. Hey, I would love when, uh, what was it, Jam Pony Express would remix them. You remember that? Oh, Jam Pony man, Express. Dude, I used to ride man, down, down to the gas. Oh, shit, bro. man, I hit the gas Jam Pony oh, yeah. Express. The little corner store. I ain't heard that would come in a over. long yeah. time, it's hard. Yeah, I can't crazy. find it. That's what's up, man. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I come from a different type of breed of people. We're out in the woods right now. I get it, but. Man, that's what's up. That's why I go right Damn, to the music. Damn, Express. I didn't expect us to hit into that. Man, when we, like Higgs yeah. Field, when I heard Higgs Field out in baseball, like everything in that song just is field mob. Like that's, I feel like the beat, this, like this, the way you're snapping on the verse, but you're not really, it's like you're talking shit, man, but you're just explaining, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy, man. All right, and uh, right now, what's one song if nobody knew who you were and I'm like, look, go check something out. What can I recommend? What describes you? I would say either uh, Double Wide is kind of one of my favorite ones because I'm kind of talking trash and kind of lyrically exercising it, and the hook is dope, and I pay homage to Outkast in it, which is one of my yeah. all-time favorites ever. I would say Double Wide, or I would say uh, if you wanted something that had some real meaning, I would say Clouds or even off the Higgsfield album Reverse. Those are when I... I'm, a, I'm showing my penmanship game, you know, and really writing about real life situations. You can hear it. You can hear it in your music, man. You can hear that it's not, you didn't just decide to do this because somebody else is doing it. Like, you're talking about what you've been through. I appreciate the work you do. Some of the rings, all that. I'm a welder, man. I, I get it. You ain't, you, 
You're working. <laughs> we get it out there. We get it out there, bro. Yeah, you're working. And uh, the last one, man, I'm going to Hicks Field, and I got a question. Um, I played baseball, man, and what position did you play? I played shortstop growing up, and then through high school, I played left field, right field. I pitched a decent amount. I played everything but catcher in my life. I played first base for a little while, too. That's crazy because I would have guessed catcher because you remind me of a buddy Stump I used to play because you got that short stump. Man, I grew up with a stump, too. <laughs> That's crazy. Dog. I grew up That's with a kid named Stump, Because we were too. doing the same type of things, man. We were sitting so we came yeah. across the same type of stuff. You don't just know Stumps and yeah. Pony if you're out working, playing video games and sitting in your house. Like, you got to be living, Hey, man. I'm going to tell you something crazy, and I'm not, I'm not going to get super – into this because I'm a weird dude. I'm a think out of the box dude. I was outcast raised. Yeah. So look, I want to tell you something. Since you heard Higgs Field and you heard that song Higgs Field, that song is actually a huge metaphor. All right, check this out. I'm weird and I write crazy stuff, but it's actually a metaphor for instead of there being fences on a field, yeah. it's like fences that encapsulate this universe. That's why when I'm saying things like cross over till I cross you over to another dimension, it's like it's, it's talking about how we're here on this earth and we feel so safe. That's why I have Wes singing that part. He's like, and I feel so safe here, man, I feel so safe because that's like that's all we know is right here on this world. Yeah, because all we see is the limits of what we got around us, this universe. But like space goes on forever. So, you know, we don't know what's out there. Not not to get in no hippie crazy oh, no, you shit, said something but that's, but that's really right check it out and start thinking about it that way. Now, when you hear it and think about how I'm, ta I'm, I'm talking about a kid's game and it sounds like a, a kid's park. But I'm actually talking about us living. It like, makes uh, a lot of sense because you couldn't portray a park in what you were saying either. Like, no. If you try to picture a park. Some of that stuff don't fit for a bit. park. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Like yeah. mind over matter. But the trick is without the mind, the, without the mind, the matter would without the matter, the mind would have never existed. Right. You know exactly. what I mean? Yeah. Like that's all. All we got here is what we know. So I mean, perception could be anything. So I perceive that as talking about baseball, and like what you went exactly. through. Exactly. And, and that's what it was meant to do. Yeah, yeah. It, but it's it was, written it kind of in a. Yeah, it's crazy. That's dope, man. That's dope. I appreciate it. Yeah, and I want. One more last question. What's your favorite baseball bat? I know you were swinging them old school. Man, dude, I remember the, uh, listen, let's see if you remember this company. I remember those TPXs from Omaha Little Bulls. League. And I had an <laughs> Omaha, I think, did the company, I don't remember the company changed ownership, but I had an Omaha bat too yep. in junior high. Ones. Yeah, I had an Omaha yeah. green bat that I love, but back in, uh, in Little League, it was TPXs was the shit. Yep. I used to have a bomb bat from Walmart that every time you hit it, sounded like ping yep. and all that. But uh, yeah. yeah, man. Yeah, I appreciate yep. the interview, man. Yeah, no hey. problem, man. I appreciate what you're doing. Thank you for helping us get out there, man. Yes, sir, Thank man. You, yes, sir definitely. Hey, thanks for watching, man. Y'all go subscribe and y'all go uh, follow everything trailer made, everything simple, man. And y'all give this man some love, man. He's out here coming to shows and shit. Y'all need to be doing the same thing. Sorry, let me cut you off. No, you're good, man. Our target here, we're out at uh, Left Foot City, June 10th. Man, th there's a show about to go down here, and if you missed it, I feel bad for you because there's some headliners. We got Florida Dolph, we got Simple Man, we got Hard Target, the list goes on. Yeah, but uh, So we got some questions, man. Name right. change. If you could change your name, I know you wouldn't change your name because it would be stupid to change your name, but what yeah. would you do? Um, I've, I've thought about it numerous times. I've... Uh, like there was a couple moments a couple years ago where I had a couple names. I remember the one name I had was off of, based off a, a character from Bonanza. I can't fucking remember the name though. But I think uh, I like the simple names. I like the Kendrick Lamar's, the J. Cole's. I like like there's something uh, like the music I make. I think is more personal. Poetic. Uh, like a poetic. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, me personally, uh, I would like my name. Like when when I introduce myself, like. I don't walk up and look. What up, Target man? Yeah. I'm not Target. I'm Ryan. Yeah. You know what I mean? What's yeah. up, Ryan? But uh, I've never really like, because I know it's not an option. I've never really thought about it hard. But uh, I know my last name fucking white as fuck, Ryan Fleming. So that'd be stupid. <laughs> Maybe Ryan Michael or something like that. That's awesome. That's my male name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, that's dope, man. I, I get why you wouldn't change your name. It's hey, completely redundant, uh, bro. I've been putting out music since 2003. Yeah. Granted, uh, my most success I've seen has been in the past five, six years, but I still had a following online, like MySpace days, into the Facebook and all that stuff like that. It wasn't nearly as big as it is now. But to even change back then, it would be completely backpedaling. It would have ruined my career. All right, yeah. So, uh, who's one artist? If Money wasn't an object, you didn't really care who, I mean, if you could get anybody, you could bring them on board, work with them, make music with them, who would it be? Uh, right now, Tyler Childers. I've been obsessively 
listening to Tyler Childers. I love the way he writes. It's like super, like, it's almost like random thoughts that happen to rhyme, but they're not like uh, the, the, the traditional way a person will write. They get the music, they hear it, they make a melody, then they'll write lyrics. I feel like Tyler Childers writes down a bunch of random thoughts. And uh, like the Feathered Indian songs, uh, 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 my buckle leaves impression on the inside of her thigh. There are little feathered oh, Indians yeah, where we tussle through the night. Like, I think he was genuinely with a girl one night and realized when she was locked over him, she had her leg on his uh, belt buckle and he saw the imprints of the belt buckle design on it. And that was just a thought he wrote down. And like, there's something so beautiful about that. And like, he's got an awesome voice. Like, to me, that's country music versus like, I guess I know it's way off track, but that's real country music. It's like fucking, there's pain in it, there's reality to it, it and he's a good old boy, you know what I mean? He's not just like some random dude from fucking Rhode Island that throws on a flannel and grows out a beard, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like you can relate to it, it's something you understand. It's a yeah. Life. yeah. That's exactly. right. And last but not least, man, what's the story about the glasses? We're going to see some merch like Target. I feel like I, I would never want you to change your name. Yeah. I don't want you to change your image. Your image is who you are. And that's yeah. what's up, but it's dope. Um, uh, I've thought about trying to print up glasses before. It's just, yeah, the, the, unless you buy like super cheap glasses, they're expensive. You know what I mean? And I, I'm not trying to like sell like little fucking uh, 50 cent glasses and, and throw them out there for $15. It's right. Well, they're dope, but they break easy and stuff like that. As for the uh, the merch behind it and stuff like that, I a lot of the merch we sell right now is I try to I'll do I design our merch when we're doing merch and shit like that. I try to make the design look like something that if you don't know who I am, you'll you'll buy that shirt. Like that shirt's dope. Like I don't care if it, oh, that's hard target. That's a shirt I would rock because it looks like a dope shirt. So that's what I try to keep my mentality. Which may hurt me branding wise, but I don't mind because I know, like uh, the trailer made shirts that we have that our fans are rocking, they're simplest, uh, simplistic, simple logo, big logo on the back, trailer made across the top, like an old baseball jersey or something like that. The fucking uh, shit we just did for Mox and Creek for the Take Me Home video. It's such simple shit. You never got to hear Take Me Home, ever. You look at the shirt and you're like, I could stand behind that because that's a dope. What, what this shirt yeah, yeah. says, I, I love what it stands for, and that's what I, I try to do with our merch. That's good because the more people buy merch, man, some of you don't know. Like, I didn't, Florida Dolph, that shirt is dope. Like, the Savages on the front, I didn't know what Savages yeah. was. I, I know who Florida Dolph is, but I'm like, yeah. Exactly. I wear the shirt I didn't know who the shirt was. Exactly. Then I seen his back, I'm like, oh, that's it. My whole family's rocking Florida Dolph tonight, man. If y'all haven't already, check out Florida Dolph 24 pack Earnhardt featuring Dusty Lee, and me and Dolph. First time I don't know when this is coming out. Me and Dolph got a new single dropping called I'll Wait. Gonna be dropping here soon. Fucking Florida Dolph is the new shit right now, man. So y'all get a chance. Go stream his shit on Spotify. Check him out on YouTube, man. He's a dope artist and a great human. That's what's up, man. We need youth like that in this, in this genre. That's why I yeah. preach on my channel. Like, younger guys like him are appealing to the younger guys. Wonderful. They're gonna push country rap, rap, whatever you want to yeah. call it, all the way to the top. Because you can't have... It's yeah. go be real with you, man. I'm 36 years old. I'll be 37 this year. Uh, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, like Welcome to fucking Florida. Yeah, that's what's um, The thing is, like, with Florida Dolph, like, when we uh, when we first started fucking with Florida Dolph, it was just like he was a homeboy. He kept coming around. He's very hungry, very, like, I want in, man. Whatever I got to do. We, hey, man, we need uh, this for a video. He'll show up. Yo, uh, we can't figure out how we're going to get this light to shine in this person. He'll sit there and hold that bitch for 30 minutes. He was always there. He was always hustling, always grinding. But what we noticed about Florida Dolph is, like, when you get around Florida Dolph, everyone can't help but gravitate towards him. Because he's, for one, it's just like uh, there's a glow about him, right? But he's a good dude. He's happy. He's never. He's not like one of them dudes that, like, puts off that... I'll fuck you up. Corner, yeah, yeah smiling, like pissed off and shit. Dolph is a party in a bottle, man. And we want the world to see that because when you when you get around with Dolph, you drink with Dolph, it's going to be a wild ride, I'll tell you yeah, that. I'm going to see tonight, man. I, I've heard yeah. stories. I've seen Snapchat videos. Like, I'm ready. That I, That's how I recognize Dolph. It's the, it's the wild. Yeah. Like, it reminds me of the Jeezy days. Of the T.I. days. Yeah. Of the Fuel Mob days. Like, hanging out your window crunk. Like, the, the crime mob days. What you know about crime mob? A lot of people don't even know who that is. They'll say, I know, I know, it could be a buck, but that ain't crime mob, man. 
But hey, I appreciate it, Target. Thank you so much. I'm gonna it's always a pleasure, show. man. Thank you so much. Good luck with all of YouTube. Hey, man, if y'all haven't already, subscribe to Captain Kirk Reacts, man. This dude's doing uh, huge stuff for the genre. He's showing love to all the uh, cats out there, even us small fries, man. So y'all subscribe to his channel, drop hey, a like small. on the video, and a comment on the video, and I'm going to get drunk. See you, man. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. I got a lot more coming, man. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos. Go check out Simple Man, Hard Target, Florida Dolph, all them boys, all them boys out there. Trailer Made. Shout out to Trailer Made. Shout out to uh, anybody that needs a shout out. And hey, all that was really important, man. But more importantly, be nice to one another. Hey, head over to Redneck Nation. Use promo code RD28 and get you some merch, motherfucker.